How's it going there guys? It's Root Junkie here and in today's video we're going to be talking about two devices. I normally don't cover both these devices or I should say one of them. We're going to be talking about an iPhone 6 which I have right here I use for work pretty much every day and my Nexus 6. Both these devices are good for what they do. Um, we're going to be comparing and contrasting them today and talking about features I like on each and don't like on maybe each. So uh, let's go do this. First things first, let's check out the different bodies and the look of each of these devices. So the iPhone 6 is actually really nice. It fits in your hand really, really well. Um, definitely has good clean edges on it. Obviously that iPhone 6 branding on the back with the Apple, but uh, actually pretty nice device. Feels really good in the hand. Nexus 6 obviously of course is quite a bit bigger and works really, really well. Um, again, very nice clean edges on it, which look really well, along with that Nexus 6 logo, which just looks party, along with that Motorola little circle there in the back. This does have a D-brand skin on it that I really do like. Um, very, very nice looking device. The iPhone 6 also has some nice shortcuts to launch your camera app from your lock screen, which I really, really do like. It also has a very nice way to get into quick settings, just swiping up from the bottom here. You can turn on your flashlight, which is just a great way to access it very quickly. So let's go ahead and check out the Nexus 6. It also comes with these really, really amazing quick settings to swipe right from the right, and it'll get right into your camera and launch that. Or if you swipe from the left, you can then launch your contacts. Also, not in the video here, but you can also swipe down on your device and go ahead and get into your no your notification center, I should say your quick toggles, very, very simply, along with just swiping up normally to unlock the device. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and we'll move on to unlocking your device. There's a couple different features on each of these that I really, really do like. First of all, let's start with the iPhone. The iPhone is really nice because you can either swipe over and put in your pin, very simply, or you can hold your finger on the home button there and it'll just finger sense your fingerprint and unlock your device. I absolutely love the fingerprint scanner. It is super convenient and great, great tool. Love it, love it. Now on the Nexus 6 you have those same functionality of having a pin, a pattern, all those different things, but you also can use your smartwatch to go ahead and unlock your device very easily just by calling it a trusted device. Anytime your smartwatch is connected, your phone will be unlocked as long as it's within range. If it isn't, it'll be locked and you'll be back to a pin. Definitely love this feature. When it comes to moving around icons on your iPhone, it's a little bit rough. Basically, it's very hard to do. If you hold down on them, you can move it around where you want it on the iPhone, but you can't leave it where you want it. It's going to always reorganize back in order. And that can be really, really frustrating if you want to put one icon off by itself. It always pops back to that default quick order. I mean, you can arrange them, but they're always going to come back to the line. You can't just throw one in a corner. Uh, it really drives me nuts that I can't actually organize my icons like I want. It's basically like you have a glorified app drawer, and that's it. That's your interface on an iPhone. You can see here on the Nexus 6, I can move this icon wherever I prefer. I can put it around, I can change it over here and over there. I can even go ahead and change the widget and move it where I want and adjust things. So basically, the customization on Android, it just far exceeds the customization on an iPhone. Well, since we're already talking about applications, let's talk about application settings. These things also drive me crazy on an iPhone. I know you're probably thinking I'm super partial to Android here, but it's just the differences I'm seeing in the operating systems when it comes to my personal preference. And you guys all know that I really like Android anyway. So, so let's talk about settings here in iPhone. So iPhone settings are really distorted. If you open up here, we'll go into the weather widget and you go in here and you have settings, but it's not all the settings. To get to all the settings, you gotta go back, go into your general settings, find the application, and there's the rest of them. This is just really antiquated and, and annoying. So you can see here on my Nexus 6, if I go into the app, 
there's settings, and that is all of them. There are no other settings in my settings menu on my device. It just makes things very, very simple to use and just intuitive on the Android device. All right, so lastly, let's talk about navigation. Now, there's different features that are great about navigation on each of these devices. The biggest thing that I'm noticing on the iPhone that it just irritates me is the back button. Um, there is no back button, or if there is a back button, it's way up here in the corner, or it's a swipe from the left, and it gets really, really annoying. So you can see here, I gotta reach all the way up here to touch this back button and get it functioning. Great. On an iPhone, it's just, it's just frustrating. It could be not even up in the top left corner. It might be a swipe, like I'm saying. So again, another thing that just isn't intuitive. But if we come over here to my Nexus 6, there's a dedicated back button, and it makes it very, very easy to go back one screen. If you're in settings, go back. If you're in app, go back. It all just brings you back to the previous screen you're on, and is very easy to use. It's not all the way up in the top corner where it's hard to reach. It's right here on the bottom. It makes things quite simple. Another nice navigation feature on both these devices is their multitasking functionality. And it's really nice because you can just click right here, and it's going to load up all of the windows or applications that are running on this device and over here you can go ahead and tap this button and it's very nice very easy to navigate through them I like the navigation on both you can swipe away or you can close one out and it just works very very easily hit the home buttons on both and you're back to your home screens along with this navigation there's also some search functionality that's really nice so on the iPhone, you can go ahead and just uh, hold your home button and ask, what's the weather like today? It doesn't look so nice today. There you, there you go, you got that. And on the Android device, you can go ahead and type in or say, okay Google, what's the weather like today? And without even pushing any buttons, you have your answer. Really, really love these features on both devices. Let's quickly talk about these cameras. The iPhone camera is loads just very, very quickly, takes excellent photos, very fast, in succession, really without any problems. These are great photos and very clear, easy images to view. Now, we also have the Nexus 6. Its camera is also pretty quick. There's a little bit of lag you'll notice in loading, um, and there's a little bit delay between each of the pictures. But picture quality is excellent, just the same. Um, it just doesn't have that speed, that snappiness you'll see in the iPhone. Well guys, to wrap up my whole overview here of the Nexus 6 and the iPhone 6 uh, battle here, I would say, honestly, when it comes to like, the processing power, these things are two just great devices. They work, both work really, really well. There's no real lag or stutter too much in either one of them. Um, definitely like them. I like the bigger screen of my Nexus 6 personally just because I watch a lot of media and it works better for me. I'm super happy though that iPhone has finally got a decent sized screen on their device and it actually makes it usable at least in my opinion now. Um, again camera on the iPhone definitely wins out that battle. Um, the touch for unlocking fingerprint again wins but besides those real two features I gotta go Android all the way. Android, Nexus 6, just when it comes to customization and enjoying your device and making it yours, this is the device your guys are gonna wanna pick up. That's my opinion of these two devices and I hope you guys like this video. Stay tuned for more videos like this, covering all kinds of good Android stuff, you know, like usual, and we'll catch you in the next one. Root Junkie out.